Alice, Alice Roosevelt Longworth, From White House Princess to Washington Power Broker, 2007, is a biography by American historian Stacey A. Cordery of Teddy Roosevelt's oldest daughter, a socialite and Washington power broker best known for her wit and her public criticism of her cousin Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Cordery draws on Alice's personal papers, including her journal and correspondence, to paint an intimate portrait of a pioneering, outspoken woman. Alice's birth in 1884 resulted in the death of her mother, Teddy Roosevelt's beloved wife, Alice. On the same day, Roosevelt's mother died of typhoid fever. Roosevelt, then a New York congressman, was so distraught by the loss of his wife that he refused to speak of her or hear her mentioned in his presence. Alice was therefore referred to as a baby Lee, instead of by her given name. Even so, Cordery finds, Alice served as a reminder of her father's loss, and in the years of his grief, father and daughter failed to bond. When Alice was nearly four, Roosevelt remarried. Feeling like an outsider in her new family, Alice clung fiercely to her father, whom she idolized. However, Roosevelt remained emotionally distant. As she grew up, Alice became rebellious and outspoken. Cordery speculates that these traits originated in a desire for her father's attention. She was still a teenager when Roosevelt was elected president. As first daughter, Alice enjoyed a spectacular career as a celebrity socialite. She smoked cigarettes, then taboo for women, on the roof of the White House. She wore trousers, kept a pet snake, and attended parties without an escort. Songs were written about Princess Alice, as she was dubbed by newspapers, and young women all over the world imitated her manners and style of dress. After she wore a pale azure dress to her social debut, Alice Blue became the must-have color of the season. Cordery suggests that Alice was endlessly greedy for this adulation, using it as a stand-in for the attention her father would not provide. Alice was a political figure, too. She reportedly dropped into the Oval Office to offer political advice as it occurred to her, and as the central figure of the president's social circle, she wielded no small political influence. Her own positions were eclectic and controversial, for example, she opposed the League of Nations. In 1905, Alice became engaged to a rising star in Congress, Nick Longworth. Cordery speculates that her main motives were independence and spending money. Certainly, the couple enjoyed little affection for one another. Longworth was a drinker and a womanizer, but Cordery suggests that his infidelities disturbed her far less than his decision to back Taft rather than Roosevelt. In the 1912 presidential election, Roosevelt died in 1919, but Cordery finds it difficult to reconstruct Alice's reaction. Just as her father had never been able to discuss his first wife's death, Alice rarely spoke of her father's, omitting it altogether from her autobiography. That year, Alice began an affair with an Idaho senator, William Bora, who like Alice opposed the League of Nations. For much of the 1920s, Bora and Alice were both lovers and a political team, but Bora couldn't leave his wife, and Alice remained married to Longworth until his death in 1931. Cordery suggests, on the basis of coded letters between Bora and Alice, that Bora and not Longworth was the father of Alice's daughter, Paulina. Cordery concludes that Alice was, at best, an inattentive mother to Paulina, who died in 1957, from an overdose of prescription medication. Alice's political positions continued to be idiosyncratic. During World War II, she supported isolationism and the America First platform. She was also an early advocate for women's suffrage. However, she is best known for her witty syndicated newspaper columns, in which she viciously criticized her cousin FDR and his wife, Eleanor. Cordery speculates that Alice not only thought her cousin a lightweight but resented his usurping the position, which she thought belonged by rights to her brother. Ted Jr. Cordery scrupulously separates the reality of Alice's persona from her reputation, finding that some of her famous bon mots are apocryphal. She is widely credited with describing 1948 presidential nominee Thomas Dewey as looking like the little man on the wedding cake. In fact, this remark was attributed to her by two activists who thought her name would lend it credibility. In old age, Alice calmed somewhat. She raised Paulina's orphan daughter and became a friend and patron to talented young politicians of every stripe, including Richard Nixon and John F. Kennedy. Cordery concludes that Alice was as independent-minded and self-directed as it was possible for a woman to be in her time and place, Alice did not take the world on its own terms.
It wasn't all under her control, nor did everything work out as she would have liked, but she made of it what she wanted. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.